Uh, good evening, Rahul, and good evening to uh, my fellow panelists and uh, artists. Congratulations to J. Sai on the second book of his trilogy. Uh, Rahul, this Sir Tan Se Juda slogan is barbaric and unacceptable in a civilized society. But there are two issues here. Number one, we need to accept that we are simply biding time. I am very comfortable with it. As Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore said, and I quote him, Islam has distinct enmity against all other religions. It is not just satisfied with observing its own religion, but is determined to destroy all other religions, unquote. So the millions who pour on to the streets demanding Sir Tan Se Juda, they are not mad, Rahul. They are not fanatics. They are simply following religious fundamentals. Allah has specifically ordered that those who abuse Allah and his messenger, Allah has cursed them in this world and the hereafter and prepared for them a humiliating punishment, unquote, 3357. And that the penalty for those who wage war against Allah and his messenger, the crime Ayatollah Khomeini accused Rushdie of all those decades ago is that they be killed 533, unquote. For 1.8 billion Muslims, Allah's word is inviolable. We need to understand anyone who is perceived to have blasphemed will sooner or later meet the fate of Kamlesh Tiwari and Samuel Pati. It may take a day or decades, but we need to understand this. And moderate Muslims can play the victim card as much as they want. But they are the ones who are Islamophobic. That is, they fear Islam. They fear to bring out the commandments of their holy book in their entirety because they fear being called illiberal and hypocrites. So they end up condemning and branding as radicals the poor Muslims who are faithfully following the fundamentals. Now let me come to the second issue, which is academic and important as well. Why one may ask, if I am a free speech absolutist, do I say, Gustake Rasul ki ek hi saza sartan se juda slogan is unacceptable? Aren't these mere words, after all, rhetorically, I can ask, there are dozens of verses that call for way more violence against the Kafirs than this slogan, 456, 40, 70, 8, 12, 22, 19. But we haven't redacted or banned those, have we? So why this double standard? Well, let me club this with two other slogans, Rahul, that equally call for a violent retribution. Desh ke gaddaro ko, goli maro salo ko, and tilak taraju or talwar inko maro jute char, what Mayavati said. If you want people arrested for chanting Desh ke gaddaro ko, then why should those chanting Sir Tan Se Juda or Tilak Tarazu also not be arrested? After all, all three slogans call for violence. The first against blasphemers, the second against traitors, and the third against the upper caste. And all of them aren't asking the judiciary or the police to dispense this punishment. It is an open-ended, extrajudicial, extra-constitution call to everyone and anyone. And in a mob, that is problematic. Let's test this theory. What would happen if we put Nupur amid a mob chanting Sartan Se Juda or Afzal Guru amid a mob chanting Desh Ke Gaddaro Ko or a Brahmin amid a mob chanting Tilak Tarazu or Maro Jute Char? They would be lynched. Therefore, it follows that these slogans aren't mere words when chanted by a mob, like many violent verses are. And it follows that any mob chanting it must be prosecuted to the last man, woman, and as you showed disturbingly, child. So two things. The content of Munawar Faruqi's jokes and the statements made by Akbaruddin Obaisi with respect to Sita Mata are the same. The only difference is one claims to be a politician, the other claims to be a comedian. So I think Raja Singh should give up politics and become a stand-up comedian and repeat everything that he said but in the capacity of a comedian. That's point number one. Point number two, if the liberals and the so-called, let's say, bleeding hearts of this country believe that the reaction of the jihadis and the Islamists in response to these comments and allegedly defamatory statements or blasphemous statements are right, I hope the Hindus learn from all of these elements and repeat the very same behavior so that everybody gets a taste of this particular medicine because at this point neither the constitution nor the state machinery nor the police machinery or the judiciary seems to be working as far as putting these elements in their place is concerned. So I think the and I say this with a lot of responsibility because now 
from the north the matter has reached the south and i'm not at all surprised that hyderabad has joined this particular gang it was only a matter of time in fact it's a matter of surprise that thus far hyderabad has not joined this particular group it has finally and therefore according to me the circle is complete and the fact that this particular group is being led by the party of the oasis is not at all to be surprised about whether it's the congressy or the let's say the uh, aimm corporators on this particular issue this particular behavior will not change regardless of the political affiliations concerned because it is not a question of political affiliations it's a question of a particular religious affiliation so we should not be surprised as to whether someone's a follower of nehru or a follower of sultan salahuddin owaisi my only submission is this at this point i think we should stop beating the the argument of the constitution it's a foregone conclusion at this point that the constitution does not matter to this particular group and this particular mindset now therefore the rest of the country has to decide what are the response mechanisms that will effectively put this arrogance to bed that is the only way to address this problem now i am not spelling out any particular solutions well, i am simply saying everybody has a right to think about solutions at this point so our only option right now is to impress upon the trs government to tell the hyderabad police to arrest these people the sayed kashafs of the world the trs government the, is held hostage by the oasis there is no way they will do this they will not and by inviting this. that's the practical that's the realist that's the realist in jai deepak speaking do this and they have established the fact care for hindu sentiments when they invite the few to munawar faruqi being a minister and knowing fully well the controversial track record he has are you telling me that ktr did not have an i idea as to what this was going to invite so although it is possible to blame ktr for what he has done and rightly so why should raja singh not stand up for the rights of his community not to stand in the fact that he is a legislator when he clearly says you are calling a controversial fellow then who is to be held responsible for the altered law and order situation the minister or a legislator who is not in power yes uh, rahul may i with your permission gently rebuke you for grilling uh, mr rashid khan because i have found a new friend today in rashid ji and i am being very honest because rashid ji is very honest he is not a hypocrite he knows what he wants and he knows that he will get it and he knows as i said that tagore was absolutely right ambedkar was right and all those people who said what tagore said and imbibe what he said are absolutely right what are we trying to do here please understand rashid bhai ki galti nahi he is absolutely honest problem comes with those who brand rashid bhai as militant no rashid bhai is not militant so can i with your permission ask rashid bhai a very gentle question can i please ask him yeah yeah thank you assalam alaikum rashid bhai aap se ek hi yeah, sawal hai sure. main main prophet mohammed p p b u h aur aisha ji r a ki bahut izzat karta hu ji can i <coughs> Ra 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 rahul there is some disturbance yeah that is qureshi Uh, oh, I think Qureshi he is, is probably already. I think Mr. Qureshi, Qureshi is uh, getting irritated. वो कांप रहे हैं. Qureshi जी कांप रहे हैं. लेकिन मेरा मेरा सवाल राशिद भाई से. Yes, yes, yes. Can I can I please ask Rashid bhai a question? Qureshi bhai, so will you tell him to just keep without quiet. being interrupted? Right, can you? Yes, sure, sure, sure. Thank you, thank you, Rashid bhai. Yes, sure. Yes. ये yes, राशिद भाई आप भी जानते हैं मैं भी आपकी तरह प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद पी बी यू एच और आयशा जी आर ए की बहुत इज्जत करता हूं आपसे एक सवाल है क्या आपको या किसी मुस्लिम को प्रॉब्लम होगी अगर मैं साही बुखारी 5134 और सुना नसाई 3378 जो कि दो हदीत हैं उनको कोट करूं जी जी कोट करिए आप Bishan, you can no, no, the, we are not quoting Bishan. anything here. Just one second. We are not quoting because we are Rahul, not quoting. I don't want, I don't to, want get to get. Uh, no, let's now. Yes. Let's just. Let's But not now, go down that route. Now I have proven to you. Let's now not go down that. Now I have proven to you. No, no. That an honest Muslim. I think. Muslim. I think. Let's I think, Doctor Ranganathan. I think, Doctor Ranganathan. We should. We should. Into the depth of this thing. Yes, one second. One second. I think Rashid Khan Sahab has been very honest. Let me ask the others. I Let me ask the others. Him. One minute, please. Problem is with problem is with people like Qureshi. Okay, one second. Because Let's, Rashid Bhai said, "Court kariye." Yes, that's fine. That's Koi fine. Ne kiya I tha. get your point. Problem I think you made your point, Doctor Ranganathan. You've established your theory. You have tested it against Rashid Khan's honesty, and he has come out and he has endorsed your views. So you can take now. One second. You can take some. 
सकअप फ्रॉम दैट लेट मी ब्रिंग इन दानिश भाई लेट मी ब्रिंग इन डिबेट छोड़ रहा हूं मैंने आनंद जी से नहीं कहा कि आप छोड़िए ना राशिद खान से कह रहा हूं जैसा दीपक आस्किंग यू अ क्वेश्चन पुलिस स्टेशन इफ राजा सिंह इज नॉट अरेस्टेड He has made that statement. What action are you going to take against Mr. Rashid Khan? He has been kind uh, enough and honest enough night. to make that statement in no, public. No action should last be taken. Last night, listen no to action. me. Last night also, I have told uh, Rahul, no I am not the SH or ACP, the, no. the area concerned. Definitely, the government will ensure that the law of the land will take its own course no, and will. No, Mr. Reddy, punishment will be Mr. Reddy, Reddy. No, all that. Mr. Reddy, this is not looking here, good. Here, here, somebody is running an agenda. This is, this is not looking good. Is trying to run an agenda. See, what agenda, sir? A person is standing in a police station inside. I'll show you. Please show the video. I know. I have seen it. No, then if you have seen it, sir, then why aren't you arresting him? Why isn't the police detaining him inside a police station? No, do you think if I can go inside a police station and say I'll burn this police station down, you know what they'll do to me? They will beat me to pulp and put me in jail. No, yes, Rashid Bhai, Rashid Bhai, 41 CRPC. Yes, no, no, to Rashid Bhai, I am standing with you. Please, Rashid Bhai. Everybody knows CRPC. Do you think that? Sir, please, please allow me. I, I did not interrupt you. Thank you very much. Uh, Rahul, Rahul, just just two minutes ago, I gently rebuked you. May I please, with your permission, gently rebuke two other gentlemen? One of them is my good brother Sai. I do not want Rashid Bhai to be arrested. Please understand. I don't think you got the gist of what Rabindana Tagore said. Rashid Bhai is a law-abiding citizen. The law that he abides by is not the Indian law or constitution. It is Sharia. So what? He abides by that. We have to respect it. But Dr. Rangana, no, 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 you know, let's not respect, respect Indian law. I respect okay. my you know, constitution. I respect you know, my motherland. To prove your point, we I can go as a I, I love my country. I love my country. Gentlemen, one second. Gentlemen, one second. Gentlemen, gentlemen, one second. Gentlemen, 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 one second. You see, you see, Dr. Ranganathan is delighting tonight, viewers, and he's right. He's delighting in the fact that we have an obscurantist sitting on our panel, in the presence. Of a senior TRS leader, and he will say, "I will burn down that police station," and he is getting, and he is getting a platform. No, no, I, I, I completely welcome Mr. Reddy's statement. I think it's a very measured and justified statement. According to him, what he says is that anyone who disrupts communal harmony will be punished. The government is going to take equal case against anyone. That is what Mr. Reddy says, right? that's a good statement but then i ask him mr reddy my good mr reddy you know munawar farooqi has really ired the hindus by making these crass jokes on their gods and goddesses on uh, on the people who were mercilessly burnt alive in godhra you know the moment he opens his mouth he is going to offend the religious sensibilities of hindus he is going to disturb the communal harmony then why this double standards mr reddy why have you invited him i i would like to ask you See, right is wrong. Wrong, right is right. Wrong is wrong. If Munawar Parki has, uh, you know, insulted someone, he was jailed. My question is, the government doesn't welcome anybody. We are a happening city. Many people come. No, If but you welcomed him, Mr. K T R. Welcomed him, gave him security. Sir, invited him. Right, yeah, anybody. You see, <laughs> the question here is, Prabhu. I am asking you again. Did Narendra Modi government ban him conducting shows in India? Sir. Will you invite? Will you invite Rashdi? Will you tomorrow okay. invite Rashdi now? Salman Rashdi will he call? Rashdi will allow him. I am not. See, the question is. Can you please invite Rashdi? 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 Can अरे भाई तस्लीमा नो नो वन सेकेंड तस्लीमा नसरी माई गोल यू आर गिविंग प्लेटफॉर्म अदर यू आर इन्वाइटिंग पीपुल हुम यू थिंक इंसाइटेड वायलेंस नो यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग एस टू स्टॉप समबडी इन अ डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्री हु इज नॉट ऑफिशियली बैंड बाई द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया माई डियर फ्रेंड माई डियर फ्रेंड यू इन्वाइटेड मुन्नवर I have not invited you. You invited him. Yes. Your party invited not him. Not the government. Mr. KTR invited him. Course, yes. Okay. He, let me he, show you. He, let me show you. No what? Mr. KTR's invitation. I am questioning. Why are you not answering this? What? I want to. I want to ask. Yes. 
Why be the lion? I want to talk about Rangnathan. Why why did Modi government has not banned? Is it not double standard? Banned who? No, but no. One second. Now, can I answer him? Can I answer him? Can I answer him, please? Yeah, of course, Doctor. Yes, number one, as Rahul said, Mr. Reddy, the good Mr. Reddy, we are all sensible here. Let's have a decent discussion. Number one, Mr. Munawar Farooqi was invited, so you haven't got your facts right. Number two, I am a free speech absolutist, boy. I already said so. Why would I want anyone to be banned? You are the one who wants Raja banned. But on the one side, you want Raja banned, but you are celebrating Munawar Farooqi. Double standard, आप के मेरे नहीं हैं। I'm sorry. There is no question of double standard. On four issues, viewers, the response has been found wanting. Rahul, when you wanted a decent discussion, you also have to allow me to answer. Please go ahead, sir. Answer. You said the same thing for the last 15 minutes. Say the same thing at the very least. Please don't lie. Let him, let him finish, doctor. Doctor Ranganathan, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Please. Let him finish. Yes. Go ahead, Mr. Reddy.